Hi, I'm Astronomy Magazine Associate Editor Bill Andrews. Welcome to Tour the Solar System. In this series, we give you an overview of the objects in our stellar neighborhood. This video focuses on Saturn, the famous ringed planet. Whenever you think of planets, odds are a Saturnian shape is the first that comes up. After all, what better way to signify some exotic alien world than distinguishing it with an intricate ring system? The sixth planet from the Sun, Saturn's about nine and a half times as big across as Earth, spanning some 75,000 miles or 121,000 kilometers. This means more than 700 Earths could fit inside. It's so far from the Sun, about 891 million miles or 1.43 billion kilometers, that the Sun appears only about 1% as bright as it does from Earth. And because Saturn's density is only about 12.5% of Earth's, which is less than water, the planet is buoyant. If you could find a body of water big enough, it'd float. As beautiful as Saturn's rings are, they can distract observers from an interesting feature. The planet appears a bit squashed. A day on Saturn lasts just about 11 hours, and this quick rotation rate, combined with a lack of solid ground on the gas giant, flattens Saturn's naturally spherical nature. On the other hand, it's not speedy at everything. A Saturnian year lasts more than 29 Earth years. The famous rings more than double Saturn's visual diameter, and it's the richest ring system we know of. Made up mostly of water ice, the rings are surprisingly thin, no thicker than 330 feet or 100 meters on average. As astronomers' technology has improved, they've been able to detect more and more detail in the rings, from the Inky Cassini division to the variously colored A, B, C, and D rings. Some moons even hide out within the rings. Like its neighbor Jupiter, Saturn is massive enough to pull in all kinds of interesting moons. There's the Death Star moon, Mimas, featuring Herschel Crater and its massive central peak. The two-faced moon, Iapetus, has long perplexed astronomers with its distinctly different faces. They now suspect ice formations and dusty debris accounts for the difference. Icy Enceladus has ensnared many with its almost unbelievable geysers, spurting enormous amounts of ice particles, water vapors, and other compounds far above its surface. And of course there's Titan, long shrouded in clouds and mystery, but which turned out to be remarkably Earth-like. As part of the Cassini-Huygens mission, launched in 1997, the Huygens probe landed on Titan January 14, 2005. It unveiled geographical features on the Moon very similar to ones on Earth, except for their composition. It's so cold on Titan that any water ice is as hard as stone, and oceans of liquid methane dot the landscape. Cassini also taught astronomers much about Saturn itself, including the volatility of the Saturnian atmosphere. Not only did they find it could change color, more similar to bluish Uranus and Neptune than the traditional Saturnian orange hue, but they also witnessed some of the most powerful lightning storms in the solar system. And no discussion of Saturn's weather would be complete without mentioning the oddly regular hexagon formation on the North Pole. At least 30 years old, this feature extends deep into the atmosphere and is still only barely understood. Of course, this is just an overview, and there's much more to the ringed planet than I could get to. We'll continue our tour of the solar system in upcoming videos, and make sure you check out issues of Astronomy Magazine, which often include news and articles about solar system objects. See you next time!